Hello everyone. Just an hour ago, I posted one video, which was a swing trade recommendation on DV's lab. So while I was analyzing various other stocks, I chanced upon one more idea, which I thought I will share with you all. Okay. Please note that this is just for educational purposes. In case you want to take any position, please do your own due diligence or consult a financial advisor. I will not be responsible if you incur any losses. That's it. Let's go to the analysis. The stock I am going to discuss now is Shilpa Medicals. Okay. So we are looking at the weekly chart. The analysis is very similar to the one that I did for Divi's lab. So I will do it pretty fast. Okay. So let me bring up the various technicals one by one. The first one is the horizontal line. You see, this is a strong support. You can notice the previous swing support came here and then we, we had a big move. So it is coming back here. So it is a good support. That is the first one. Second one is a trend line, this green line, what you see, connecting the highs here as usual, here, 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 and then it broke and came back and took support here. And again, it is coming back here. So that is another support. Okay, it, it went a little bit down to touch this horizontal line. Now, as we are speaking, it is closing above this green line. Okay, that is the second confluence. Third one is the Fibonacci retracement. You can see exactly the 50% line is lining up with that support line. I started the Fibonacci measurement from here at this point because this is where this move started. This up move started from here. That's why I started the analysis from here and 50% is coming exactly there. That is the third one. Fourth one is again another Fibonacci where I am measuring the extension of this leg and see 138.2 percent is exactly lining up there. So we have three confluence points here at this point like similar to the one what we observed in the case of DB's lab and we also have the trend line and it is already gone past the trend line. So we have seen four confluences. We can also have a look at the RSI. See RSI has made a double bottom and we are we can see the divergence also, no? momentum divergence. I hope you guys, some of you at least will know what is momentum divergence is. The price is making a lower low whereas the RSI is momentum is same. It's not making a lower low. This is called divergence. Okay. So this is called positive or bullish divergence. So when we see that there is a high probability that the price will take a U-turn and that is what is happening. We are seeing already. Okay. That's it. This is the weekly analysis. Now maybe I can take you to the daily. Okay. Daily also we can see the same divergence here you see this is making a lower low whereas RSI is making a higher high and we can also notice that RSI has gone past 50 which is a bullish indication okay when a stock goes above 50 it's an indication of bullishness also notice the volume breakout see today's volume it has gone above the average this blue line is the average volume average and today it is broken the average. So we have a good average, of, I mean good breakout, volume breakout, price breakout, RSA breakout. So all three are there in the daily. Now let's go to 15 minutes. Now what I am doing is called multi time frame analysis. No? You don't take a call based on a single time frame. So you, this is called top down approach. You call, come all the way from monthly down to 15 minutes. This is the correct way of taking calls okay just wanted to tell you 
see here 15 minutes you can see the, the, the volume spike happening see how the volume was so low all along but suddenly you are seeing a volume spike and rsi is again very bullish you see 15 minutes is above how much, how much it is 85 is super bullish okay so everything is looking good now we have to talk about the entry and exit okay i will tell you that now i will draw a trend line connecting the highs let me sorry okay now i will make a trend line connecting the highs see when i put a trend line this is called the resistance trend line i will change it to red color see today what happened exactly it hit the trend line but it could not pass could not break see see we are getting selling also so i am expecting some selling to come because you know market always respects all resistances and supports so this being a resistance i expect some selling to come so we don't have to go and buy straight away watch the initial few candles tomorrow morning so i expect it to come here i will put a horizontal line okay this black line this is you can see this was a resistance which was broken so probably tomorrow initial one or two candles could come back here okay or it could even come here okay this is any one of these two please okay just watch the price action and then enter here or here 258 or 252 6 rupees not a big difference you can buy here also but when it comes here watch the price action if it prints a green candle or red candle accordingly you can buy here or here and your stop loss will be just below this the low is about 230 so a few rupees below 230 can be your stop loss and talking of targets i think this could be your target if you ask me 308 okay supposing you buy at 257 let's say 308 is about 50 plus okay 50 rupees which is a good uh, 20% or if you want to go early this could be your target this is you could be your first target these are the targets because here some selling could come so if you want to go early 292 also can be a target okay so i have given you the entry price the stop loss and also the target it's a, it's also a good risk to reward trade okay i hope you like it if you like it please give me a thumbs up and share my videos with your friends if you have any comments please do let me know thank you very much